Hey, it's Megan, man. You're watching my channel. Pay something great. But <laughs> For today's video, we're going to review one of our art materials that I previously... I can see you! <laughs> so for today's video, we're going to review one of our art materials that I previously um, shown you dun sa ating art hall. And the uh, one I'm referring to is this, Superior Watercolors. So kagabi ko pa siya gustong ibuksan, kasi sabi ko i-review ko muna bago ko gamitin. And we're currently here in... Himalig Island! Before we start, please don't forget to hit like, share, and consider subscribing if you want to check more of my art videos and art journey in the future. So, without further ado, let's start the video. Good morning guys! So for today, we're going to review this superior watercolor that we have from Shopee. Kung napanood niyo yung dati kong art hall, nabanggit ko na siya doon. So what we're going to do is to make a review out of this. So with the packaging, as you can see, it has a, this hard plastic. So once we open this one, nung una may tape pa siya. Natanggal ko na kasi siya before, so wala na siyang tape. What we can see inside is this. So since the packaging is transparent, you can definitely see what's inside. And here it is. This superior watercolors consists of 42 watercolors of different hues and we're going to swatch them all. But before that, let's take a look how it was formed or how it was made. As you can see here on top, there's this foam kung saan dun yung ipapahid yung inyong paintbrush. So it serves like the use cloth para dun sa excess waters or excess pigments that you don't want to use on your painting or on your artwork. This is detachable. It's made of foam, but underneath, it's actually a Velcro. Ayan. Ang maganda dito, pwede nyo siyang palitan. Hanap lang kayo ng foam. Since yung foam naman is madikit talaga siya sa mga Velcro like this. Kung mag-cut na lang kayo ng gantong size, so you can just replace it kapag madumi na. That's the good thing about it, because it's really compact and portable. Kasi yung sa mga gamit ko dating watercolors, I have to bring another cloth or minsan sa damit ko lang pinapahid yung excess waters ng paintbrush eh. So, but dito, pwede na siya dito sa mismo sa foam. Then, it actually comes with a water brush. And this is a longer version of water brush. And as you can see here, it's a round brush. This brush pen or water brush has a compartment for your water. So, dito nyo ilalagay yung tubig para once na magta-travel kayo, there's no need for you to bring a pail of water. You just have to pinch it. Of course, there should be water in this compartment. And then, once you pinch it, may lalabas na tubig. Yung bristles niya, it's actually um, nylon na ito. Eh. It's kind of nylon or synthetic semi-synthetic, semi-nylon. So please let me know in the comment box if you already have this kind of watercolor and kindly tell me what do you think the brushes are made of. For the watercolor itself, it's really good that they do have this kind of rotating palette. So if you want to use yellow colors, you can just open this one. If you want to use darker shades or red shades, you can just open this one here. So we'll have to open them one by one. They have this white, um, shades of yellow, orange shades, um, red shades, then meron din tayo nitong dark reds and uh, um, some kind of purple and blue. We also have the green colors and the blue colors and also this neutral um, or nude colors here. So here are the 42 colors. Aside from this, it also comes with a separate palette. So, pwede kayong dito mag-mix ng colors ng inyong paints. Portability-wise, it's all good because you can just bring it wherever you want to go. You have here the paints, the mixing palette. You also have here the brush wherein you can put water in it. And then, you also have this foam to remove any excess waters on your paint brushes. Kapag nagpaint na kayo, you can actually handle it like this. Pero when I tried it, it's actually better if you do it like this. So, hawak mo siya dun sa pinaka bottom part. Then yung colors nandito sa gilid para dito ka magmimix. Then derat yung kulay dito, punas, then paint. If you tried it this way, 
okay lang rin naman. Kaso kasi yung weight nung paints nandito. So, may tendency gaman yan pag nangalay ka. So, it's better to have it like this. It's just for my opinion, okay? Kasi yung weight nung, you know, yung weight nung colors, nakasandal siya dito sa arms. Kita yan. So, hindi siya ganun kaalanganin dalhin. So, I preferred uh, using it like this. And also, for example, if you just want to use like a single color on your painting and you need only one pigment, you can refer to these numbers or codes that we have. So, ito na yung nagsisilbing swatches ng colors. So, for example, I want to use um, like a lemon green color. I can just open this. Kahit ito lang isa. Then there you'll see this lemonish, um, yellowish, green color. This watercolor painting set comes with different sizes. If I'm not mistaken, there are four different sizes of this. So if you're just starting and if you're on a tight budget, I would recommend you to purchase the smallest one. I guess mas mura siya sa Shopee kaysa sa Lazada. So I'll be uh, putting down the link of the store where you can buy this or yung mismong store na pinagbilhan ko nito. Meron sila doon ng pinakamaliit. But if you want to explore all the colors of this, you can buy this one. Ito yung may pinakamarami nilang colors dun sa set of palettes nila. We'll now go to swatching so we can check the colors. So, we'll just have to remove this from the top view. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, medyo may shadow siya. We'll remove the camera from here kasi kawawa naman yung branch. Let's paint na lang somewhere na wala masyadong shadow para makita nyo yung mismong pigments nung watercolor pag nalagay na sa papel. So, let's remove this first. A little longer than a few minutes later. So, lalagyan muna natin ang laman itong ating water brush. Then, just have to seal. There you go. Once pinisil natin to, lalabas yung tubig. And it will go here directly. Diba? Pag pinundot may tubig. So, if you want a little amount of water for your pigment, just press it lightly. Pero pag gusto mong madami, go push down the push. And for us to reactivate the pigments, of course, we need them to reactivate with water. I have here the spray. Kaya ang gagawin natin is, sprayan lang natin sila. What good about this is you can rotate them like um, 180 degrees. So, you can reach the top portion of the compartment. And there, you'll see the colors. And yep, let's do the swatching. Like this, like this. The yung the mini studio as of the moment here, under this pine tree. We tawon ng swatch kanina. Hi doggy. Hey, what's up, bro? My cleavage go. <laughs> and woohoo! Okay, daming sand. So here's actually the swatches we made. As we can see it here, the colors are really pigmented. Ang ito yung consistency niya. It's so good at, in fairness, hindi siya chalky. Knowing na hindi siya talagang artist grade na watercolor. So maganda talaga siya pang travel din. Because of the portability of the compartments and because of the size. It's very lightweight, magaan, tas mabilis lang siyang iligpit. Something like that. And then you're ready to go. Tapos may lagayin pa ng brush. Ito lang, napansin ko lang dito sa kanyang foam. Siyempre, since maliit siya, mabilis siyang mapuno. And what I have realized is that hindi naman siya tatagos dun sa likod. So with the brush, okay naman yung brush niya. 
marami kang malalagay na tubig kasi nga mahaba yung water handle niya tapos may takip pa which gives this protection then napansin ko lang kapag pinindot mo siya mabilis lumabas yung tubig yan o so you really have to be careful kung unting unting tubig lang yung gagamitin mo make sure na unting pindot lang din yan o dami na agad So, ang tendency niyan, punas ka ng punas dun sa foam, ma-okay pa lahat ng space ng foam mo. But, the good side about this is it's really handy at maganda yung flow ng paints kapag ginamit mo yung brush niya. So, for me, this palette is, let's say, 4 out of 5 stars for me. Since we're done swatting, it was the uh, review of this. We'll go to painting. So, since andito naman tayo sa island, We'll find the place. Medyo colorful na pwede natin i-paint using this watercolors and this sketchbook. So, medyo hinapon na tayo. As you can see, lubog na yung araw. Kasi nag-snorkeling kami. Tapos may mga ibang activities din ginawa. But, here's our painting. Using Superior Watercolors 42 Colors. <laughs> so, ayan siya. The next day. Magpapaint sa anak ko. Kaso, itong part na to, isa niya yan. Yung pintura dyan, dumikit sa likod. Ayun o. Oh. <laughs> dumikit siya. So, dapat siguro papatuyin ng bongga bago nyo i- um, ibalik siya lahat. Kasi nagdidikit-dikit siya. Kaya ayan. Oops. So, kunin natin itong pintura para babalik natin dito. 